buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches, 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 good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, how's it going, my beautiful people, how are you guys doing? So, sorry for the late podcast, oh, but before I do all of that, if you're a returning listener, thank you. Thank you so much for the love and the support. And if this is your first time listening to any of my podcast episodes, hi, my name is Lynette. I am a life coach for parents, but I started this platform to kind of document my trials and tribulations as a mom with mental illness that is raising two high functioning autistic kids with mental illness and an atypical preschooler. Um, on my own, pretty much, with no assistance and no help. So, I just kind of, like, put my story out there because I want to support others the way that I wish I was supported and be able to be there for others the way I wish I had, you know, people there for me. But, so let me tell you guys. Today is Wednesday. Right? And it's 5.03 in the afternoon. I normally record my podcast earlier, but today was a little crazy, a crazy day. And I didn't think I was going to record an episode, period. I was actually supposed to record it yesterday to prepare myself for today. But I got so sidetracked yesterday, I didn't get to do it. And then I forgot why I even wanted to do it yesterday, completely forgetting it was because I was getting ready for today. But... All right, so originally at 10 o'clock in the morning, I had a dental appointment. And for those that are on video, you guys can see. How bad my teeth are, okay? Y'all see that? See that? See that? Okay. So, when my mental health got extremely difficult for me, and I had my mental breakdown, and I was trying to recover and raise three kids and take care of their mental health and take care of them and try to get their mental needs met and make sure that they were, you know, in a good place, I dropped the ball when it came to my dental hygiene. Like, I was, I don't know, for some particular reason, I dropped the ball. Plus, you know, my nutrition wasn't good either. And there's a lot of factors that played a part in it as well. And my teeth, my enamel just started going on my teeth. So today, originally at 10 o'clock, I was supposed to have 13 of my teeth extracted. And these people, these people really thought that Lynette was going to sit there awake and let y'all extract 13 teeth. I have severe anxiety. Just confirming that appointment took me forever because of the anxiety about the appointment and what was going to happen and what needed to happen and what... And, you know, what I could do and I couldn't do afterwards. And it's like, how am I going to keep showing up in my videos with no teeth now? And, like, I, I'm already very self-conscious right now because of my teeth. And that's why I haven't been posting, you know, like I used to in the past. Plus, when we moved, it became a little bit harder. But I was like, you guys, I really cannot be awake for this. I have to be asleep. So... They had to refer me, so I didn't get my teeth pulled out. But mind you, my daughter was also getting four wisdom teeth pulled out. Um, Her appointment was supposed to be an hour after mine. But mind you, we waited two and a half hours for each person to be seen. So my appointment was supposed to be at 10. They didn't call me back until like 12, 15... No, 11.40-something, somewhere around there. They, Beba's appointment was supposed to be at 11. They didn't call her back to like 12.15, 12.20. 
Um, so it's been a, just a crazy day. She's doing good. She's doing fine. She's not in pain. She's just a little bit swollen. She's still numb. So that's for, so that's for now. Like she's numb. So that's how she's feeling right now. We don't know what's going to happen in the next few hours, but she did good. I thought her anxiety was going to get the best of her. And she proved me wrong, and I was proud of that because she really did a good job. I didn't get to go in a room with her like I normally would and just talk to her. Um, I didn't get to do none of that since I'm in the wheelchair. Excuse me, this place, this place doesn't have space like that um, for people in wheelchair. Bella, can I get a drink, please? For people um, in wheelchairs. So... That was supposed to be my day, so I wasn't supposed to have my teeth still. And every spot that I've called for the referral, either they don't take Medicaid or they don't take Medicaid for my age. And then one of them that does take it, one of their doctors is recovering from their own surgery and you can't put no one to sleep unless you have two doctors in the office. So, I'm waiting to hear back from them to see if they can do it at the hospital as an outpatient so that I can get them extracted and done. Um, what was the other part? But, yeah, it, it it's just, it was, my anxiety was so high. I woke up at five something this morning. And... I was like, I can go back to sleep. I can do this. I can go back to sleep. I don't have to worry about my teeth. I don't have to worry about my teeth. It's going to be okay. I'm going to be a G. I got this. I can do this. Meanwhile, I'm still freaking out. Like Even though I'm talking to myself in my head and I'm coaching myself and I'm like throwing positive affirmations out there to myself, I am still freaking out. Like it, I am still seriously freaking out and I legit legit don't understand why I do that to myself I don't understand how why I put so much pressure on myself either like it never makes any sense to me but it's something I guess you could say I have a bad habit of doing and I gotta chill because I'd be causing my own anxiety to get extremely high and that is definitely like not okay so I know I definitely gotta chill but What's been going on with you guys? I would love to be able to catch up. It'd be, man, listen. Honestly, I'm ready to give Don't up. Don't you help me? I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to give up on my YouTube channel. I'm ready to give up on this podcast. I'm ready to give up on my blog. Like, I pour in so much into what I try to do. It may not seem like I do. But I pour in so much, and it's crickets, and it's annoying because all my life has been crickets, you know what I'm saying? Only the people that know me personally, they'll, they're like, yeah, she's loving, genuine, and blah, blah, honest, ruthless, truthful, like whatever the case may be. But in this virtual society, I am not I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not finding people to create my support group with. I'm not finding other families like mine. I'm not finding other people in the same situation as me and my children. Um, sorry, I thought I heard something in the hallway. Um... I do know that I'm not the only one out here, like, struggling and trying to make it or trying to succeed. I do know that. Um, but, and I know that it could be worse, and I know there's people that have it worse than me and my family, but it would just be nice. Like, I sit here, and I'd be watching other people, and I'd be, I'd be watching... Um, I'd be watching, um, I'd be watching, um, 
I be watching, um, oh my God, what was that saying? Train of thought went out the window. Train of thought went out the window. Train of thought, sorry, y'all. Uh, I was being nosy. Somebody came to the door, so I was being nosy, but it was for, and then it was for me, and then I got sidetracked in the middle of talking to you guys. I, I'm going to non-apologetically just be me, okay? That's all I could do. Um, yeah, all I could do is not apologetically be me. <sighs> Hopefully, I remember what I was saying. It's too much going on in this building right now. There's so many people talking in the hallway. Like, it's just, it's just too much going on. And my ADHD and my anxiety is like, woman. You really think you about to focus right now and get some work done? And then my son is home, and I'm not used to him being home when I do my podcast. I'm used to it just being the girls. And it's throwing me off, too, because I'm watching him, and I'm watching him move around, forgetting that I'm talking to y'all. And it's like, girl, get it together. This is why living in one room does not work. Like, it does not. Besides the fact that space is a problem, it is also a problem when it comes to being focused. Because, what I get easily sidetracked and it'd be so annoying. Because I don't get that slight sidetrack where I can keep repeating the same thing over and over again. And then sooner or later, it'll click. And I'll remember what I was saying. No, I get a completely different sidetrack. Yo, pause. I'm getting sidetracked right now. I'm literally looking at myself at this screen and I'm looking at my two front teeth. And they look horrible. They look horrible. And this is one of the reasons why I've stayed behind the scenes just trying to just post without coming out and talking. Maybe I should put a mask on and talk to you guys. Maybe I'll feel better. I don't know, but I'm trying to be okay with this because pretty soon I'm going to start watching myself talk without no teeth until I can get my partials. This is taking a toll on me, you guys. I am really beating myself up because of this because it's just like if you would have taken better care of yourself, you wouldn't be going through none of this right now. I'm only 43 years old. That's crazy. Anyways, any who, any how, any whatever, any whatever, back to what I was saying, it'd be nice if I would have some more interaction with, you know, listeners, and it'd be nice if you guys actually support and, you know, share, share, comment, like, subscribe, just support in any way that you can, because I would, we would greatly appreciate it, and I know for a fact that I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it big time. Um, I'm going to end up taking a, a little intermission here for a second because I need to regroup. I really am all over the place. So I'm just going to take a few minutes, regroup, get my thoughts together, and then come back and finish the podcast. I don't want to um, just... I don't want to be the way I am right now. I'm I'm feeling really like, uh, 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 So let me regroup. So I'm going to pause, go take a cigarette break real quick, regroup, come back, and then finish the podcast, all right? So I'm taking the intermission here. On YouTube, y'all not going to notice because I'm just going to, you know, y'all not going to notice, but the podcast will notice. Um, That's why I'm saying it. And Delano is saying hi. You can say hi. You can actually verbally say hi for the podcast. Hi. <laughs> I thought children weren't allowed on the podcast. The podcast you can. The one you can't is wisdom. Oh, I thought, I thought this is the podcast where children can't talk on. No. This one you can talk. What's wrong, Viva? The, pain, the numbing were off. Mm-hmm. I'm always evolving the hell out of it. Take, uh... You want to do two, so then you can do two later and then two later? Okay. I just can't drink your straw. Correct. You have to drink regular, so just take... Oh, she can't drink your straw? No, because you can cause an air pocket and that can gone. get infected in the gum. Mm. 
Wait, does that mean I have like a little bit of time to keep the TV on? Yeah, I'm gonna end up going on it now. Sorry, you guys. See, this is what I'm talking about. I need to regroup. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry for distracting. I'm pausing. Her. I'm pausing. I'm pausing. Have a nice day. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And let me start by being honest and saying my break didn't work. Um, I'm still a little sidetracked. Again, I I think my son is throwing me off big time. <laughs> Um, I'm just really not used to him being here either. Like, it really is throwing me off. Plus, with every, just the way the day's been, with me waiting for, like, four hours at the dentist's office, making it back here later than I thought I was going to, then not getting my teeth pulled out when I was expecting it to happen, and I was prepared, and I was ready, and my anxiety was, wasn't as high, and I was able to be at, like, a calm state to do it. Just to find out that I can't do it because I can't be put to sleep. So, deuces. Can't happen. Um, But I was trying to talk to you guys about where I'm trying to go with my channel and my content. Like, I have two things going on with this channel. Well, technically, it's like three things going on with this channel. It's like my life as a parent. Then it's my children and their stories and their life. And then it's my coaching business. Um, I'm trying to engage and find other parents that I can create a support group with that we can actually have each other's back where we understand what each other are going through and there isn't much explanation that is needed because we know what's going on. And... um. And, um, <sighs> the door, hold on, be back. All right, I'm back, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, somebody came to the door and they were looking for me, so I had to, I had to handle, you know, that visit real quick. And, um, I didn't want to do it over the waves because I don't know what they were going to say. I don't know what the conversation was going to be. And I try to be respectful of others because just because I'm putting my life out there for others to see, it doesn't mean that everyone else wants their life out there as well. But back to what I was saying, um, I'm trying to grow a community, okay? Not only am I trying to grow a community, I'm also trying to find clients. Um, I'm trying to provide for my own family. I'm trying to get us on our feet, get into our own home, our own transportation, I'm trying to find other ways to support and provide for my family while dealing with the wheelchair situation. And the more you guys watch, you just scared me. The more you guys watch my content, I really t just tensed up big time because I thought you were going for a bug. I, I, cause you know, flashbacks. PTSD. Give me a second, you guys. That really did trigger me. I just need to regroup for one second. really did like so I know y'all you know couldn't see it but um and obviously to my audio people couldn't hear it but Biba's phone is next to my arm on the table and it's charging she went to go touch her phone but the way that she came was how she usually would come when she sees a bug near me a roach near me and she's trying to kill it before I hyperventilate or see it and then have flashbacks or whatever the case may be and um for a minute I thought that's what she was doing so when she came close I tensed up you bit yourself <sighs> yeah slowly chew mama you gotta be careful. You okay? Mm -hmm. Be careful, boo boo. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, so I thought she was coming to do that, and I, I tensed up really quick, and it was just like, don't move when that kid or something next to you. Don't move because there's something next to you. And so I remembered that her phone was there, and then I, that's when I let go of my tension. But, um, <sighs> brought back memories. Memories, I tell you, memories. Anyways, you guys, I want to build a community. I want to motivate you guys. I want y'all to realize that no matter how hard you think life is for you, yes, it can be harder for other people, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to stay hard. You can do what you need to do or to try to get out of that situation or make it better. You don't have to take it laying down. Take it with a grain of salt and figure it out. Don't give up. Don't stop. Keep pushing. Like, I'm trying to build a community where those are, that's a big part of it. Like, as a single parent, for me, I struggle and I'm, and it's hard for me, like, to deal with everything on my own. And not being able to actually talk to people that understand when I'm saying, hey, I'm dealing with this with my kids or, hey, I'm dealing with this with myself. I mean, it, they either A, have mental illness, or B, don't. And if they do have mental illness, then they're going to understand where I'm coming from, and it's easier to get, you know, a conversation going and get input and get, you know, um, advice. I couldn't think of the word. But if they don't, then it's harder for them to understand where I'm coming from, how it affects me, why it's a big deal. And that's another thing. Like, I hate having to explain to people why certain things are a big deal for my conditions, Cause it's like I'm putting myself through the trauma all over again sometimes just by trying to explain it to people, and I'm trying to avoid you know that scenario. But I want I want to have a good interaction with my viewers and my subscribers. I want to have positive interactions, even if I'm going through it and I'm crying and I I I just. I want love. I just want some love. Can I just get some love? I mean, can me and my family get some love? Can we feel like we're also important? Can we feel like we also matter? Can we feel like we're also relevant? I mean, I guess that's what it all boils down to. And it'd be cool if all the people that are listening and watching interact because if y'all interact it just gives me more motivation right now i'm so demotivated to put up my content because it's like i'm already struggling with my teeth i'm struggling to feeling like i'm talking different i'm struggling to feel like they look so bad i got people out here looking at me with my teeth looking horrible and then i'm out here i don't want to sit out here and constantly cry boohoo and be negative when i'm trying to motivate and inspire others like I'm motivating and inspiring myself but my mental health needs to break down sometimes before it can build back up I'm already struggling with how to show you guys my two worlds and not have them clash or contradict each other but then I'm figuring if I show y'all my two worlds maybe y'all can understand why I'm good at what I do and why I'm able to help others And then at times, I feel like I'm just begging people to like me, and I don't like that. Because I don't, I just don't like it. I don't, I'm not begging, I don't know. I just know it's depressing. It's depressing, big time. Like... Whenever I'm trying to complete goals or accomplish things, it's always just 10 times harder. I mean, I see all these YouTube channels and podcasters and influencers, and I see, like, what they're doing and how they're doing it. And even if I try to copy or come up with my own style, something in my life stops me from accomplishing it or getting it done. And then I'm back at square one again, and... Maybe I'll get some a point in time where I get interaction with some people, then all of a sudden they disappear too, and it's like 
man, everybody abandons me. Either everybody abandons me or I cut off people. Who, what's vibrating? Oh, the owl's phone. Um, I don't know. I'm still working on how to do the content thing. I'm st on how to create more content. I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to do, but it's becoming hard. Maybe I can do one podcast day where it's like a vlog and I'm just pouring out, brain dumping. And then the other podcast day could be about the business and coaching and trying to, you know, find new clients. I'm I'm still trying to work out my game plans on what I'm trying to do. We're still trying to figure out when we're moving, how we're moving, where we're going, the money for that. It's a lot because we're on a set income. And then they cut down my food stamps and I lost my TANF. They closed the case. So it's like the extra money that I did have that was helping is now not helping. And what would have been extra cash if I still have my food stamps, I can't do nothing with because I no longer have the food stamps. So I kind of have to replace that in its place. And yeah, I don't have it. I so seriously don't have it. And we're really pinching coins and and. It's just getting harder and harder, and I'm trying to find solutions and trying to find ways, but then it's like, really? Really? So, I don't know. I just need y'all support. We need y'all support. For almost five years now, we've been in and out extended stays. Just trying to find our way. Mental health breakdowns. All three of us had them. COVID hit hard and it just flipped my whole household upside down. And now I'm trying to find a way to rebuild everything that I didn't realize was getting destroyed. And I'm reaching out to what I'm hoping can be an amazing community for others that need, you know, genuine support and genuine love, especially if you're on your own doing it all. Like, I know what it's like to wear all the hats and then try to still be there for yourself. You know, I know what it's like trying to figure out, can I take care of me and these kids? Can I worry about me and them? Or having to pick sometimes who's more important or what's a pri which one's a priority because of whatever is going on. Like, I, I'm struggling. But it's more because I feel like nobody's listening. And it's more because I feel like nobody sees me, nobody hears me, or nobody cares, or it's just a joke, and it's not. You know, there are people like me that are suffering, and I don't want them to feel like, they're alone, but if my channel is not getting traction, how can they find me? How are they going to know parenting and mental illness exist? How are they going to know that I can be that support system for them if I'm not getting out there into the world? And then I'm I'm not going to lie on my content. I'm transparent. I mean, I'm in a wheelchair. I'm, I'm, I can't be dancing around here and doing entertainment shows for you guys. Like, I'm limited on my abilities and what I can and can't do. And... I'm really thinking about giving up. I'm thinking about letting it all go. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts and your opinions? If I get them, because every time I do ask for thoughts and opinions and feelings and emotions and comments, I barely get them. Um, but yeah, anyways... Biv was in a lot of pain right now. I'm waiting for my food so I can eat. Um, but I'm also waiting to give her, you know, time because the numbness has worn off. And what they gave her has worn off. So now she's feeling the effects of it. Her medication is not going to be delivered until tomorrow. So I had to give her um, some over-the-counter pain pills. And then even though my pain pills aren't going to be refilled anymore, I gave her one of mine so that 
it can at least help her out a little bit because I don't like seeing her like this. No parent likes to see their child suffer. But I want to say thank you so much for watching this far if you have. Thank you so much for listening. And if you can like, comment, subscribe, follow, share, I'd appreciate it. We definitely would. We would appreciate it big time. Um, be blessed. And don't forget, tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. So let's make um, it count and make yesterday jealous. All right, you guys. See you later, Gators.